My name is Betsy Ross. I was born January 1st, 1752. You might know me for creating the American flag. My great aunt Sarah taught me sewing. After some time, we enjoyed sewing together and often talked to them. Because of this, everyone knew me as a skilled seamstress in my childhood. When I got a little older, I started working for an upholster named John Webster, but also hired a man named John Ross. We both had dreams of owning an upholstery shop of our own. Me and John soon fell in love and planned to get married. My sister and her husband helped us cross the Delaware River because I was a Quaker and John wasn't. And Quakers disapproved of a Quaker marrying someone who's not a Quaker. After that, we got married in New Jersey, November 4th, 1772. I truly was not very famous back then because only my family knew of the job I was given. If you had known me or John, you would have found that I was most passionate about sewing. People have said it's like there's not enough time in the world. I was tw only 24 when John died, and I decided to go on by myself in business. By then, we had won many important wars, and we had won the flag revolution. And I was now married to Joseph Ashburn. And in October 1781, the war was over. Me and the girls waited for Joseph in the house, but he never came. We learned about his death from an old friend. He said that they were getting supplies and they were found and captured. When they were brought, when they had brought them to prison, he had soon died of illness. People told me that my character traits went like this, thoughtful, determined, and courageous. I was told, our hearts aching, our prayers praying, our flags waving, never forget. I was a very skilled thing just my childhood. I had four husbands and lost two of them to the war. It, and last, there was a bridge made on me. It was made April 3rd, 1979. Hope you enjoyed learning about me. Bye.